you for watching my updated skincare routine. Okay. Um, so there are a few things I wanted to address in this video. Um, derma rolling can be very dangerous if you do not sterilize your roller and your hands. Now, what I use personally to sterilize my tools with is basically, um, some hydrogen peroxide and rubbing alcohol. Now, I personally prefer 90% alcohol because it works faster. This is just what I had on hand. But yeah, I personally use both. Now, you can either use hydrogen peroxide or rubbing alcohol on their own. It does not matter. But because I'm extra, I use both. An additional step that I took to keeping, you know, this more safe is to use disinfecting contact lens solution. Now, the reason I use this is because it's not skin stripping. It's not harmful to the skin. It's a liquid. It can get into the pores and really clean everything out before I get to derma rolling, skincare, blah, 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 blah. This is what I use to clean my skin before any sort of skincare. If it's gentle enough on the eyes, it's good enough for my skin. Now, you know, this, because it's disinfecting, will disinfect my skin a little bit before I go in with the derma roller. You know, again, like I said, I'm very... I'm not paranoid, so, so, like, um, so to speak. I'm more extra precautious. You can't really be too careful whenever it comes to um, derma rolling on your skin. Because, you know, one little staph infection and half your face is freaking gone. And you got a big fat scar on your face right there. And, uh, yeah. Um, but aside from that, I hope you enjoy, you know, all the products that I use. You don't have to have them, you know. But this is just like a general guidelines to what I personally do. Now, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. And I will see you guys with a makeup tutorial next time. Okay? Alright, bye! Mwah.